What is going on, family? Welcome back to another Holy Trinity podcast. I know, I know. All the applause, all the mm. applause, all the applause, all the applause. Yeah, yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. I'm like, the oh. crickets I hear? No damn way. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> God really, damn it. It's really been a fucking month, man. But it's just. Go put those L's in the chat. The thing is, though, we, you know, we have an excuse. Know, we have an excuse. We have an excuse. Because the last time y'all saw us, I think it was the last stream before we had, like, basically two, three week like vacation basically for all three of us including apollo yeah. as well shout out apollo and mm -hmm. that shit was life-changing honestly that shit, i still i still really like just being at that beach climbing a mountain we have a, we look you have a lot of stories to tell honestly i think about that shit every day we have a lot of stories to tell i ain't gonna hold you it's just fucking insane i know yeah, you think we of, do we you, do you, you're, you're trying to i don't know mikey mikey came back I from california there. and she's well, trying if, to Cal just, if cali was a bitch whoo i'd marry her Like California was amazing. And we're going to go into this. This is probably going to be this whole part. It's kind of, I guess, just telling the stories about, you know, Cali, what, we, what we've been up to, type shit. I know we missed a lot of, like, gaming-oriented news and stuff like that, but, you know. Whatever. There was nothing to really talk about anyways. <laughs> exactly. It's just games we already know is coming out and shit, and then everything else looks like ass, as usual. Persecution, persecution. It'd, be us, it'd, be, it'd just be us shitting on it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> No way. Yeah, we just start off. We always start off with something easy, something cool. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. You already know what's going on. Mm. You already know what's going on with the highs and lows. So tell yeah. me, y'all. We to start off first. first. Me? Yeah, you never go first. What? Is that true? <laughs> yes. No. I was like, ah, oh, like you know, ah, huh? you go. <laughs> yeah, definitely true. All right, so my low for this week probably gotta be work. Work has been the hole in the fuck out of me. I can't fucking lie. I don't know, bro. I think I, think I told y'all like before on the last pod that work has kind of just been doing some dumb shit, being on bullshit. And as long as it's only as it's only gotten worse, I think I told Mikey and Lakita a little about it, but like and Apollo, of course, when we were in uh, inside Cali. But like, I kind of I got caught doing some dumb shit, and like I feel like since then. Like, I didn't get fired or nothing like that or anything, but I feel like, I don't know, I've just been just being targeted when it comes to, like, not getting enough hours, and I don't know. So, like, it kind of went from, like, me just, like, necessarily, like, I like the, what's the word? I like my, like, I don't like working and, like, the aspect of working, but I'm okay with the job. It kind of went from that to me just, like, I just really just don't fuck with anything about that place no more, if I'm being honest. That's kind of where I'm feeling right now. Yeah. So. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Uh, I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling right now. So work has been kind of ass, if I'm being honest. But other than, other than besides that, it hasn't been it hasn't been necessarily too bad. It's just like in this own. I think I, that's like probably my low every single time I get on here because I've been trying to be, like try to really appreciate life recently and trying to just. No, I keep telling like, this like my new thing to, I to tell myself whenever like something like messes up or something goes bad is I always say like it could always be worse. Okay, it generally could always be worse no matter what I'm going through. So I kind of keep telling myself that periodically whenever whenever I'm trying like my mental is dropping or I'm feeling like I'm getting kind of low. I just kind of keep, keep telling myself that. Um, But yeah, and my high is just, you know, being back together with the homies. It's been a minute since we recorded, but it was amazing being back here. Um, the channel itself, like Truly Chosen, has been doing really well. Like we've, we've gotten our consistency back. We've been dropping the video damn near like if not, I think we went. I think last week we went. We went every single day, and then this week it's been like every other day. So we're doing really good with the consistency and stuff like that. So I, you know, can't complain on that front either. I just like I just like when we're all in our bag, content wise, because like this is our dream. This is our passion. So we're all like we're all clicking all on yeah. the same page, all like you know recording and stuff like that. And it's like even like it might not be like on all fronts like necessarily like maybe we're all like of us are doing uh like when it comes to streaming and stuff like that. But all of us dabble in so much different stuff here. Like we're doing music, mm -hmm. um, we're doing the comic book, of course streaming, of course making YouTube videos. All of us getting more into editing and stuff like that. So you know we're all just kind of just doing our thing over here, and it's been phenomenal. This entire week and last week too, honestly. 
like since basically since we started the start of July, it's been all on all you know all I don't know what some white ass saying, but we're all just, we've all just been on go. Absolutely. Oh, turkeys and gravy. Oh hell no. Nah. Biscuits and gravy. That's what it is. Who the fuck says that? White people. What the? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's how I'm feeling right now. That's how I'm feeling right now. What's it going next? What's it going yeah. next? I'll go. I'll go. Sir. All right. So my low. Um, some of y'all might know because I posted about it a little bit, but um, my mental for a little bit has been kind of off. Like really, ever since I got back from got back from Cali, because I don't know, like where I live, it feels like I'm always stuck in like just a motionless vortex. Like being where I am, I just I feel so stuck. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just don't get any type of emotion or nothing. So for a minute, I was kind of you know going through it, and I'm the type of person too where it's like I don't like to really talk about what I'm going through because me personally, I'm, I'm pretty like empathetic, which means like if someone else around me is sad, I start feeling sad too. So I don't really like to talk about that shit because I don't want to like bring those around me down if I'm feeling down. But, um, you know, shout out Lakito and Jez and all my other close homies. They kind of got me into the mindset of, you know, we're like family now. So we got to really like, you know, call each other accountable and be there for each other. Like for real, for real, through thick and thin, because at this point we're going to live together. So, you know, we really got to start really really being there for each other like actual brothers yeah, but um i kind of got through it i got better now but for like a week or two i was i was pretty i was pretty bad mentally i ain't gonna lie we are doing better now though oh yeah and then um my high hmm i think just looking forward to moving honestly because i've been i've been it's getting so close i'm, I'm just counting the days <laughs> at this point like counting my vacations and shit I'm really only like sleeping in my house here for another like 30 more days basically which is not a lot like at all so like every time something's annoying me here something's going wrong where I'm at right now I'm just like it's only a few more a few more weeks to get in through this and then I'm living the life I want to live or I'm, I'm getting one step closer to the life I want to live at least so just having that in my mind has been very motivational keeping me positive um I'm just learning to, you know, get my mentality like in a in a good spot. Like being being like down for so long and then going back up like mentally wise. Like I'm I'm, re I'm really learning that um life really is as highs and lows. Honestly, like the sooner you can like learn to accept your lows for what they are, I mean it makes everything go by so much easier. Because if you get stuck in this mindset of I'm in a low, oh, why is it always it's, it's always gonna get worse every time you get to a low. I saw this quote and it was like, life isn't about like waiting for the storm to pass, but it's about like learning how to dance in the rain type shit. Oh, that's a good mm. one. That's good. That's that's, good. That's, so I'm that's trying to learn how to fall in love with my lows because if, if I'm ever at a low, it just means the high is coming next. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we just got to accept what's going on as what it is. And just keep pushing. Mm. But yeah, that's my high. Just looking forward to what's next. Ah. I feel that. But you, Lakita, how you doing, bro? Um, you know, it's been it's been a very eventful month, past month. Um, absolutely. You know, just a bunch going on, a bunch of a bunch of lows, a bunch of highs. Um, I don't know. I guess my ultimate low I hit like this past couple weeks i guess like i've never like i don't know i haven't been in touch with everything like, i haven't been in touch with my feelings like ever and like i don't know it's just like hard to recognize when i'm struggling until like i mm -hmm. hit the bottom and i feel like i hit the bottom this like past week and like i recognized like i don't know i recognize that I was I I was losing myself a little bit. Like I didn't do all the things I do like all the time I used to do. Like streaming, I've been doing that. Working out, I've been doing that. So I've pretty much just been staying at home, you know. Just like mm -hmm. counting the days down, I guess. Which is like it's good, like like I'm looking forward to it, like leaving. Mm -hmm. But like I don't know, I just can't let, I, I'm trying to learn not to let that, like, 
let my life revolve around that. Yeah. Like, I still gotta live life. I still gotta do the things I like to do. I can't just count down these days and like stay like. What's the Isolated. Word? Like, like your own yeah, little bubble. and like. Yeah, I for sure. That. Like, and like just still and like unproductive and stuff. I watch. Mm -hmm. I ever since I recognized that I've been. I've seen like a lot of TikToks of like, um, a lot of people are trying to get productive again, and like, because I forgot what they said, but it was they they called it something, but it was just like, all they did was just repeat the same day over and over again, and it's like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I mean, luckily I've been I was able to recognize that through like, you guys help and like. Ansley, uh, she helped Anz. me recognize that too. Yeah, shout out Anz. Um, so yeah, she she was there for me. You guys were there for me, so I like to thank you guys. Thank of course, you right bro. Here. Absolutely appreciate. Uh, I only do that because I expect the same from you. Ah, I'm playing. <laughs> and I got you, King. Got to, got to. It's really a brotherhood at this point. Absolutely, definitely Easy. family, family, family. family. Anyways, the highs. Hi, um, I'm moving. <laughs> We're moving. Yeah, yeah. Cool. it's like so I'm soon. Looking forward to that. Time is flying. Yeah, I know. It's already July fourth. Like, bro. I know. Cali, we our last like, day in Cali was a month ago from today. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. <laughs> like, what? I felt so. like it was a week ago. <laughs> That's yeah, insane. So, you know, I'm looking forward to getting out of here. It's like. 15 so days funny. for me 15 days until i'm out of cali oh, you got it and um then i'm gonna be staying with um ansley for nice. a week and then we got DreamCon, and then yes sir Apollo for three ah! weeks so that's oh, gonna be up. cool so hopefully like i don't know like i could i want to learn i want to learn some things like what like i have this month off like which is what I wanted in Texas, but I get to get it early, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just like a blessing. Oh yeah. Um, so you know, I want to learn, get some, maybe get my life back together soon. Uh, I'm putting the pieces together now, but like maybe like I'll be able to like fully piece it back together, and maybe even like strengthen it. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to. Maybe Apollo could teach me some things about like what he does. For like when he hits a slump, Absolutely. for sure. And you know, hopefully, I just come back, just strong, energized. Energy. Literally, have a month. So if I don't come back energized, something's wrong. We're all just phoenixes at the end okay. of the day. Nah, you will though, King. Absolutely. You know, we got you. Anything you need. Yeah. The thing is, too, like I was watching, um, I was watching some YouTube. And this YouTuber was saying, like, you're really only as strong as your team is. So, mm. we really do, like, as long as one of us is, like, energized and thriving, that really does, like, motivate me. Like, we really are, like, soul bond at this point. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Like, as long as one of us is doing our thing, it just, I, I, I resonate with y'all, like, so deeply now. Very, very deeply, very, very deeply. I'm just glad, like, I mean, as y'all can see, like, I don't know, mental health is definitely... Like how Mikey says, a bunch of like you know highs and lows. You it's know, highs and lows. Shout out it's to actually Luke, crazy. you know, and it's just like it's just very. I think the main thing is just just the consistency. I even like texted them a little, a little bit like a while ago, kind of talking about. That. I was like, it's so interesting about the mental health because like you'll be feeling perfectly fine. Like you might you might like be happy as fuck or nothing, but you're just you know content. You're cool. You're chill, yeah. And your brain would just be like, nah, fuck that, and it's like just make you just feel just all <laughs> kind of this like Willy Wonky for no reason That's so at real. all. That's so real. So it's like, bro. It, it, oh my god! I noticed too, like with my last like little episode, there was really no reason for me to feel like how I was feeling. Like there was no like I couldn't pinpoint it. Like there was nothing like negative going on in my life. I just exactly. didn't feel good. <laughs> I guess really it's how it is though. It's not it's not always something. It's just you know. Exactly. That's that's, yeah. that's, that's what's so annoying about it. But I mean, like that's... it's hard. It's hard to really notice that and realize that because it's like yeah. it, it makes you feel like something's wrong with you. Like, you know what I mean? That's that's the main thing right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the main thing. 
Uh, oh my God. I don't know if you, it's the same for you guys, worse. but like, but when when you can't find out what's wrong, it like, it makes you feel worse. Like yeah, it makes you feel worse. Absolutely. If you can't figure out what's wrong. Absolutely. And once like, you like, once you get in the mindset of trying to find what's wrong, you're gonna start finding bad things in everything. Damn. Yeah, like it puts you in a negative mindset. You'll 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 find negativity anywhere you look because you're just trying to find this reason for to justify why you feel like how you feel. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like oh, it has to be because I haven't I, I haven't worked in a while. I have no money, right? No, that's one of the best things that happened to me in a while. But your brain will play tricks on you, make you think everything's wrong. It's bad and everything. It's like it's crazy how your brain works. It really is. Well, that's why, like you know, like we, I think Apollo kind of told me that too. Um, I've, and I've been seeing it from other goats as well, like J. Cole and them, like you like always saying like you are and like you're not your thoughts. So, like the things that be kind of going yeah, through your sure. head and stuff like that, like, don't like. That's not you. Don't like hold on to them, don't latch on to them because at the end of the day, like they're mm -hmm. not who you are. Like they're kind of just like. No pass. Yeah. It's, it's like just, clouds. It's like self-checking. It's really the clouds. Bit. So you really just have to like. All just, things pass. Just, I don't know, you just have to just like know who you are and like know like just be grounded in reality and know like the stuff that's. Like, like all the negativity whether it be like external or internal it's like you know it's just not what's going on because mm -hmm. like that's the thing that was like we've we've been gone for a little bit but like all the memories we've made in cali and even like since then is has been amazing like cali like bro Absolutely. we have absolutely we probably had like oh my god like twelve thousand stories i could tell you just even like the small moments of just me looking at here. me <laughs> me looking at mikey and like and we just giggling, and Apollo and Lakita are talking about like this. How Lakita was about to go spend a band on a on a Harry Potter robe. This is like, I don't know. This is fucking insanity. It's fucking it's insanity. Like, it, it's crazy because we've we've really for the most part only known each other like online. So like when we see when we get those small times so far to like see each other in person, it really is like every moment feels cherished. It's fire. Like that's really that really is rare because if you if you have friends like in real life. Like obviously you cherish your memories, but like yeah, it's so common to see them like around you, like physically. Mm -hmm. You kind of just forget that like it's such a it's such a common thing. You just don't think about it. But like I feel so like subconsciously aware that like this is really like peak right now. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Makes it makes it makes it so much more like fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I say because I say if y'all we can sit here and just talk about Kalia for a little bit, just kind of talk about yeah, all of our mindsets going oh, into yeah. it and the how we kind of felt towards after. So I guess like a little bit of a roundup, but y'all don't know. I mean, like if you like watched last pod, we and we've been talking about it for a little bit too. Like, Apollo's probably been talking about it too on his end. Since, oh my god, since since we got back from fucking New York, <laughs> been planning this shit. <laughs> exactly, honestly, <laughs> that's so insane. But if y'all don't know, we went to Cali. So starting on June first, coming back on June fourth, so about like three days. Um, we've been planning it. We, like I said, we've been, this whole entire year has been, been planned to just kind of just travel as much as possible. Even like going into next year and the year after that, like we just want to go see everywhere. Like whether it be in America, whether it be internationally. Um, so like we planned it. We had like a bunch, and that, that's a cool thing too. Like Mikey kept on saying towards the end, is like we planned a lot of stuff to do. And I had like, and like maybe like towards like halfway through the trip, I was like, oh, we're not gonna be able to do maybe do so many certain things. But we hit every single thing in those three days that's crazy it was such a short trip but we did so much i don't know how the fuck we even managed to like do how that shit. We, didn't, we, we we slept in like all the days too like we woke up like late like, I, <laughs> like, I, we I all got up at like 11 and <laughs> i, I don't know how tell you. i cannot even tell you it's actually crazy it's because cali's so nice like everything's right there it really is like we have to go out our way to travel or nothing we like, everything was like within driving distance like the longest drive was like what an hour to universal yeah and, it, and but yeah. the rides felt phenomenal because like I don't like this, the scenery just oh, we were talking for about him because he's Lakita, driving Lakita with his fire ass playlist like come on bro it's only terrible because Lakita was driving and bro Lakita almost got killed like respect. seven thousand <laughs> times in that goddamn place like, hey I'm, fuck dog, you dog. stupid bitch you didn't fucking I, asshole didn't I, didn't I say didn't I say the they're not even that driving. bad it's not even <laughs> that bad you're <laughs> crazy that is not, that is not, it was really they don't use their blinkers. <laughs> Like the kilo was fucking. That was the main thing I peeped. Bonkers. Oh, dog. They 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 <laughs> they speed past you. They freaking like do crazy turns. Like you off. Crazy Break check you. Changes. <laughs> yeah. Put aim a gun at your head. Start shooting at you. Throw a PB like, at your car. All that. I promise all you. That not added that with, you know the usual. I promise you. That <laughs> like bad. way, ten thousand times. Worse. I just can't wait for you to we, come. We, we got there at a good. I don't know. <laughs> 
I can't wait for you to come to fucking. Like, out of bed. They're moving down to Houston now, like they said. I can't wait for you to come down here and just realize how, like, it's, it's, not, it's the same. It's probably worse here, about the same. I ain't gonna hold you. It's really you everywhere. I, I, I know state says they have the worst drivers. Like, literally, everybody from every state says that shit. Literally. That shit, I don't know. Y'all. Ask somebody from Maryland, they'll tell you people in the DMV are the worst drivers. That's probably true. That's probably true. And they're ass here. Let me tell you. But yeah, we. So we all came. So I came from, you know, Texas. Mikey coming from. Mikey, I don't. I still don't know where you fucking live, bro. Is it Michigan? Uh, I don't. I don't live nowhere. It don't matter. What is, I came what, from where I came from. What's, what's, what? the, what's, what's, the, what's the state? What's the state? Is Delaware? I don't really not know this. Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> Close. I don't know what it I mean, it's is. Close it's so little, bro. You know where you know Washington D.C. like the capital and shit. Yeah, it's there. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, really? but he's from. I, yeah, Maryland. I'm 20 minutes from the, from, from I'm 20 minutes from, the, from D.C. Maryland and Apollo came from uh, Atlanta. Y'all know Apollo be repping it. Uh, well, not Atlanta, but uh, Georgia, whatever the fuck he like. The, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. You know how you be saying that yeah. shit. Georgia. So we landed. Gotcha. Um, I met Apollo first. Uh, we were just kicking up. Paul's like, Paul's just be cracking me up. But Paul's just humorous. It's just so fucking funny. Cause like, I don't know. We, we just be just there, just like, shit. just going insane. I don't know. <laughs> so, and then, so we almost got lost like 30,000 times. Cause Lakita was, Lakita was driving around trying to pick us I up in the airport. Find him. And Lakita was damn near like, we had, every time we FaceTime Lakita, like, oh, we're over here, bro. We're over here. Lakita would just be like, I don't know about to get, like, get, in, like, get in a fist fight with someone over there and just driving with the Teslas over there or some crazy shit. I don't know. That shit was so funny, bro. bro. I looked like 10,000 times. It's because I had to link up with, with Apollo and Jez, too. Yeah. Like, I couldn't find them for a minute. I, I knew where they were, but I couldn't get to them. They had nah, the fucking construction. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck this nigga found us. He just walked across the street randomly. Like, oh, here, guys. Hi. Like, bro, where did you come from? No, because I had your location. No, so I just figured out like how to get to where you were. <laughs> I just no found a, like as soon as I saw a road over there, I was like, I went to that road. <laughs> Make it have ended up in the back rooms, following that fucking. Road. I could have. Yeah. Somebody, bro, I swear, oh, I told you this. They were doing construction. Somebody like moaned really loud. It was really wild. What? Oh, like somebody what? up there was like, somebody up there was like, ah! Oh hell! And somebody nah. fell. Oh hell no! Nah. I was like, huh, California, did y'all. Fell. Someone did fall. They probably fell off the fucking. <laughs> You, you, I said, I said, I said, Mikey, this video recently about this man jumping off a building and falling on a fence or some shit. You know what he did? Yeah, sure. <laughs> nah, you gotta put that clip in. You gotta put that clip in. You gotta put that clip in. I'm almost likely probably. That shit fucking insane. You gotta put that clip in. That shit is. <laughs> How is he alive? <laughs> oh no. But no, real quick, bro. Let me talk about that flight real quick. Okay. Cause I've never been on planes like that, and when I have. It was like from here to like New York or like South Carolina. It was like an hour and a half flight, if that. My first time ever flying alone was a fucking like five and a half hour flight nonstop. That shit was so like nerve wracking for me. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like an actual grown man for the first time. That was the biggest thing with that. Like I really felt like independent and free. Cause living with your parents your whole life, bro, you end up feeling very restricted mm -hmm. in like all aspects. Yeah. So it felt like so freeing just to like, figure out shit myself. Oh my god, it was so refreshing. I would definitely say that. It's like little shit like little little shit like that was like very important to me, low key. I've been telling like once they move out here, it's way different because like my first flight, I think my first flight was not to Cali. It was to, it was to New York. It was to New York last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. I met with them, so, and it's uh, it how was, long was that flight? Uh, it was pretty. It was I don't know, like three remember. hours. It was like, like three and a half hours. Four, something like three, three, four, maybe five, something like that. I don't know. It, this, this is maybe like six. it's very nerve wracking, but it's definitely uh, freeing. Cause you you don't have to uh, absolutely about, you don't have to worry about nothing. But it's nerve wracking because like you're by yourself. You have to make sure you have your passport, you have your ID, you have your money, credit card, all that shit. Um, it's definitely freeing, bro. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, mhm. Mm I realized. Too like I, I get more anxiety when I travel with family, because my parents be on my ass so much that so I, I, it gives me anxiety. Like my dad's like, make sure you have this, and we gotta leave at this time. We gotta be early. Like when I go by myself, like it's on my time, it's on my schedule, it's my flight that I paid for. Like yeah, it's just so much. E it's so easier for me to like not have to like basically be like a bystander and like get told what to do. If that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's hard to explain, but like mm -hmm. having to be on like my dad. And my mom, really my dad, because he's the one who plans all this shit. I'm mean, to be on like his time and like his routine and shit is what gives me anxiety. Cause then my dad is like very like, he gets mad pretty easily. So like, say we leave like 10 minutes late 
he'll be in a mood like until we get to the plane. It's like it just gives me, it just adds to my anxiety and shit. And like, just, have, just not having to go through shit like that was just, I don't know, it felt really good. I feel that for sure. Yeah. Felt very good. I mean, we all got there safely. Thank God. Actually, that's what Absolutely. happened to me. Like my flight was, I was, I, I went on Spirit for the first time, oh, and God. like if y'all know Apollo, <laughs> Apollo, Apollo's Mister Spirit. Like that man loves. Spirit. Yeah, that's like, a, he gonna get a, he gonna get a Spirit sponsor. I know he is. Like no matter where we go, he just be I don't know, just be rooting for the oh. niggas. So like we like, tell me why we we got I, I got this is my first flight with Spirit right, they, and like I, for some reason Spirit like nationwide just like breaks down <laughs> like they, they just like nah we're not we're not flying today basically oh my god i was so fucking yeah, was so mad ready to not even... it was like can i just pay back and get a refund for the for the for the hotel or something? i was, I was so like, Bro. serious i was, I was like home. it's not that deep it i was really like it's is. not that deep because everyone we all just you would have got there just late we all just sitting. We all just sitting there they on the floor. Hold you like no, that. because they were because people because they were telling people like we don't we like we don't know when the fuck we're gonna fly. So you you might as well either leave <laughs> or or I don't know. They were just like that's what. And, and you could, yeah, but I don't know, <laughs> you would have got to Cali. So what been a little. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't <laughs> he was asking me. He was like, God, can can you call and get a refund for the hotel? I was like, No, I'm not doing that. And fuck. <laughs> that shit was so funny, Loki. What was the fact at the time? But looking back, it was pretty funny. At the time, I was feeling anxiety for y'all too. I feel that. I was like, oh shit. I was like, is it, is it gonna be, just be me and Kiddo there? And then we got there. We Not got romantic. there safely. <laughs> we got there safely. Oh. For like, before we, but so, we, you know, Mikey found us. We got, we saw, we, we saw Lakito. Like, Lakito's sexy. Lakito's sexy as hell, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. He pulled out, he pulled out with one hand. He went on the one, he was like, oh my god. I got, I got butterflies. I need the, I need the J. Cole in the car. Hell okay, yeah. like what? He look, he has like mad tattoos. He like he grew his hair out, so he looks nothing like he looked like. He looked, yeah, 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 From uh, from wow. song, we looked, New York. Oh my god, we all like glowed up a little bit since New York. It's crazy. We're all just awkward internet dudes. Now we're actually like, how oh, was good, bro? Smooth daps, smooth daps. Fucking crazy. Was so nice. Biggest thing about New York, everyone's fucking smokes there. I mean, like that's like probably a thing everywhere, <laughs> but like everyone's smoking something, like vaping, cigarettes, yeah. um. Ganja, the ganja, is like bro, like you are smelling, like you're not smelling clean like air. Everywhere. You're not smelling no clean air in fucking Cali. And New York, especially. New York too, but Cali was fucking insane. Like I've never seen, like we walked to, like even inside the airport, like people, like some, some. I swear it was like a, was it an Uber? I swear it was like I don't know. We saw someone who was not supposed to be probably smoking at all. Like it was like why the fuck <laughs> are you smoking? <laughs> not at all. Ah, fucking all. Some some lady drove by. She was like fingering herself. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, bro. There was this woman, I swear, she had her legs up on the dashboard. And I don't know what, we don't know what the fuck oh. she was doing. And then we looked at her, she put her legs oh. down real quick and she started driving. I don't know what the fuck she was doing. No, no, this man Apollo started walking towards the car. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't know what the fuck so that shit was funny. About. He was like, that. That shit was so funny. It was fucking insane. But we know we finally like Tito. We started heading to the started heading to his town. His town was like nearby too. She has Matt Fark, like mm -hmm. uh, Mikey said. Same page with Matt Wavy. Damn, that was, why would you? Okay, but every every. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm to. I'm not there out. no more. We're good. It's okay. okay. I go live home, in, yeah. home, it's okay. I live, in, I live in Silver Spring, guys. What? No, I'm blocking that shit too. Um, <laughs> why not? Or why? Everything. Um. Everything <laughs> was. Everything is damn near in Darn. like or kind of close to where Lakito is from. Like like like. <laughs> With like hour or less drive, I feel like, which is pretty fire. Like you live in a For great sure. place, honestly. The beach is right there too. Oh, it's just phenomenal. I ain't gonna hold you. So we got to the hotel. Hotel was mad wavy too. Did we eat anything to the? I don't think we ate anything yet. Nah, I was hungry nah. as a bitch. They gave, they gave us brownie bread on my flight. It was good, but it was not. It was not. It was not like. Gave me two pennies and a, and a and a fucking paper cup without no water. <laughs> my shit for spirit. It wasn't like five dollars. Fucking Dasani. It was like nine dollars for Dasani. <laughs> Like eight Desai, or nine. Oh my god! It makes you that's thirsty. That's so too. crazy. Oh, <laughs> this honey sucks. I said like oil water. It tastes like cat. They got, they got that water from fucking the Gulf of Mexico. Oh hell no! <laughs> oil rigs and shit. Absolutely not. That's what that. That's what. That's what. Was. So and in California, bro, like it's all like sunny and like oh yeah, and then like just randomly, it's like it feels like y'all y'all be like y'all were never like in like Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Where they go to like that evil place and then they show some like big ass like some evil and it'll be like 
Dr. Duper Drug Incorporated, and it's just fucking like electric, electricity, and darkness. That's what they used to have. That's what they have in there. It's this big ass, no, like, yeah. gas powered so plants. <laughs> so listen, listen, yeah. <laughs> every time we drove near where the keto was, like, house was, it got so cloudy, bro. But we drove like five minutes out <laughs> on the highways and it just got sunny. <laughs> like, it was like a cloud just looming over. Where and then at one point, his phone was. Like, it said it was thunderstorming. It was sunny as hell. <laughs> It's no god of sin. I don't know what it was gonna look like. Like, he looked like. He, he said like, it's like a fucking hurricane. Know. This shit's fucking yeah, fried. This shit's it, fucking fried. It, it, it said, under, it said flood warning. For it was like, not a like drop of rain. Like 12 hours. No, it wasn't a drop of rain that day. 12 hours. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Fucking fried as shit. I'm crying, phone, bro. Like, oh, I was like, I was like, no way. That's the thing. That was the thing oh too. The God, fact that, that like, so I don't know. Like there was so much just like weird voodoo shit going on. Like y'all, like when y'all, when y'all go to Cali, bro, and you see those fucking big ass power plants that are just spewing this like ruin in the environment. Were, it's I've fucking never insane. seen power so big, bro. I've never. And they were just like, like they were just like, in the middle like, of like, everywhere. Like the Alchemax. Yes. Fucking colliders and shit ruining the cannon. This was fucking crazy. But you know, <laughs> bypassing all that shit, getting to the hotel. Hotel was mad wavy. Um, oh, yeah. we were just chilling in there. I don't know. I don't oh, know. we did get food. We did get food at the island. Was that before the hotel? Oh, I think before the hotel. yeah. I think that was before the uh, hotel. Yeah, we went yeah, to this, the, the hotel, burger spot called the Islands or some shit. Oh Island boys. Uh, that shit was so nigga, good. Stop. <laughs> that shit was fire, <laughs> though. That shit was fire. It's like this burger spot that had, like, I don't know. Like, this waitress hated our asses, too, because we kept on laughing when she kept on Lakeda, passing. Yeah, like, like, uh, Apollo. I got a sweet tea. She was like, the fuck is that? <laughs> if y'all don't know, bro, like, coming from the South, me and Apollo, you know, Texas and Georgia, respectively, we're basically sister states. Sweet tea is a staple down here. Like, we, it's, I don't know how y'all live without sweet tea anywhere else. It is here, else. too. No, it's not. We're in the South. In Maryland, that's what it is. There's bro, sweet tea everywhere. we went to New York, and New York was like, oh, we don't sell that here. New we York to doesn't fucking we... count. I said Maryland. <laughs> but your state doesn't count, I don't think, I feel like. You're probably basically, you're basically, right, in, the, you're, you're basically in the South, I feel like. You're basically in the Central. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like Central. Yeah, but that's probably why. Cause anywhere above, like, like I don't know, like this day was. It's still, so crazy. I feel like Cali would still have sweet fucking tea, bro. <laughs> mm -mm. She, she looks. So, she's like, was, she was like, what's that? She said we have sugar. She was like, huh? She has, we have she sugar. Said, I, can put, she, I can put some sugar. <laughs> Apollo was like, mm, huh. <laughs> <You got> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were fucking. I don't remember what was happening, but we were laughing so fucking hard at the table right there. Like I, I made this I face. Crying. I knew. I knew. I, I was like, I don't know why he asked that dumbass question. I already knew they're not gonna have that shit in Cali. So I looked at him. I was like, huh? I want, that's so crazy. That's so. That's so. I'm, I'm like baffled about that. Nah, but that burger. That burger that's was wild. phenomenal. That place was phenomenal. Oh my god. See, so yeah, we did eat before yeah. we went to the hotel. Then we went to the hotel. She was mad good. What did we even do the first day? No, the first day we end. We so we saw, we, we ate and chilled, but we saw Spider Man. Yeah, we saw Spider Man across the Spider Verse. That movie is phenomenal. Oh my there fucking was, god! The best part was just being there with y'all. I saw it again. I saw it again like like a, a few days ago, mm -hmm. and it was the movie itself was still like as good as it was. It just didn't feel the same. You know what I mean? I feel that like being able to sit there with y'all and watch that shit it just felt so. Oh my god, it felt so much better. Got the kill next to me and Mikey. Spent like twenty dollars. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that part. I was, oh, I was I loopy. Fucking, I fucking slammed my drink on the keto box and threw it on the floor. <laughs> nah, we were crying. <laughs> nah, we were oh, crying. This one had a. He was looking at. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were oh, crying. Oh my god. Watch me get out. Watch me get out. That shit was so Jump. funny. Like what? the place was stinking. The fucking seats were ass. That's probably the worst AMC I've ever been the fucking to. Fucking loud. Yeah, the fucking movie was too loud. The kid, the kid bought this fucking thirty dollars Spider Man bucket, and then, I don't know. It was like flipping it for popcorn. This shit was fucking insane. I don't know. Like everything was going on in that fucking theater. I don't know how we didn't get kicked out. Honestly, the kid and Mikey were about honest. to fight the fucking claw because machine. Like, 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 oh no, oh no. Fucking, we're trying to, we're trying to. Like, <laughs> That's why. <laughs> the workers, the one closest to us. They were going to shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, no, they were like, they were like checking us out. Like these freaking two girls. I was like, what the hell? I'm actually mad. Oh, yeah. The one, oh, yeah. The, who? They, they were for sure checking us out. They were for the, sure checking us who, out. Who? Yeah. The, the, like the, the cashiers or whatever. Yeah, oh. Like two cashiers. And they were with the clothes register, dog. Just standing. There. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. I was trying to. I was trying yeah, to steal why. some candy, and you know, but the niggas didn't. Niggas yeah, they kept, they, they kept opening this fucking little like, 
box with ice cream in it. <laughs> Trying to like jiggle their fingers Ooh. in. I was like, yo, stop, stop, stop. I was like, all right. <laughs> Fine. I'm crying. Fucking, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to take the selfie and Apollo can make this dumbass face. <laughs> that shit too. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some of these pictures and put this shit in here. Nah, I'll for sure. I'll, I'll for sure. I'll, bro, I'll sort them all. That shit's fucking crazy. But the movie, that shit was so fucking funny, bro. It was phenomenal. I mean, everyone's it, probably it, gushed about Spider-Man so to them, but Spider-Man was phenomenal. Um, Absolutely. It was like, like, like you said, like just sitting there with everybody because. Like this, I don't know. Just having Lakita, Mikey there. Paul and uh, my Paul was on the uh, Mikey side. We were all just like just looking at each other. Like, what the fuck? This, this shit was. We're like, whoa! Uh, that shit was surreal, man. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Absolutely surreal. I was just going through like it was a very some very emotional moments too. Like I don't know, we were all like con like connecting and shit. I know like Lakita was um was feeling some like feeling some ways throughout the movie, and it's like this us just all kind of sharing the moments too, and it's like oh hell yeah, I don't know, it's just very it's a good bonding moment again, and I'm just very absolutely uh, core memory type shit. Yeah, that's sure. way to say it. Um, and just um, just being with us, like we came, we came out the movie, we all get each other like <laughs> damn near ten out of ten. We all talking about it in the car, going back to the hotel, and we get did we get wieners? Did we, we, we get wieners? We talking about the whole night. Well, that, that, I think that was the next night. I think that was the next night. What the fuck did we eat that? Did we eat anything no, that, that night? We got, we got, we got wieners. We got, no, we got wieners the night we went to we, we did the mountain the next day. So I remember having my clothes on. Cause we, we, we were trying to go to Starbucks uh, and charge your phone, but we couldn't go in, so we were like, what's open? So what did we eat the first night? Did we eat anything? Uh, no. <laughs> really? Oh, shit. We had uh, our snacks. We, we, had, we had our in the movie theater. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. But I don't, think we, I don't think we ate again that night. Cause oh, that one yeah, night, we uh, the last night we got the, the mean? last night we got the the, the, yeah. the taco truck, we got the taco truck and the um, the day's hot chicken. Oh yeah. It was a, it was a middle night. We got the wiener schnitzel. Oh wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Bro. This fool, this fool. That shit was, was like, so fucking good. Find... He was like, hey guys, let's get this chicken spot. <laughs> it was no, Compton. It was Compton too. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about no. He's talking about the one that was the one that was next to the AMC no, the theater, one. right in front. That, whatever uh, that one. Oh, that one, that one. This shit was like, closed like, as shit. They, they, they had fucking crime tape up it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Like, there was caution <laughs> tape in that bitch. Oh my fucking. I was god. like, I'm not going like, there. Let's go to Panera, and this was like, yeah, let's go to this closed spot. Like. And now, now a soul is trying to eat Panera. Now a soul is trying to eat Panera. Now a fucking soul is trying to eat Panera. I want to eat Panera. Nah, I'm cool off that. I'm cool You're off that. You're fire, dog. No, I'm cool off that. I love that. Panera. But that was, first day was very eventful. He was like, he was like, he was, he was like, have I been wrong about any spot yet? Fucking, <laughs> oh Definitely. Yeah, you went over, you went over <laughs> 1,000. I didn't even say anything. That was my first, that was my only first spot. I, I still don't even count that shit. We didn't even get to try the food. The food still could have been bomb as fuck. <laughs> no, no. No. Absolutely. No. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, for them, for the, but the you know the first first day was definitely <laughs> fun as shit, eventful. Second day was probably even the second day was probably the craziest day of the entire weekend. I don't know. Absolutely. Because that was the day we we did the mountain right at the end. I don't know how we survived. Yep. We should be dead right now, y'all. No, you. I'm not joking. I I look, I look back on that and I'm like, what the fuck even happened? <laughs> we should have been dead as shit on that mountain. Oh, that shit oh, was dog. insane. No, what, what were you thinking? I mean, I mean, we in. Right Good idea, but like, we did not plan like how we watched the sunset. How it would be dark afterwards? <laughs> at all. Like we didn't plan oh, that no. part. We should have took that fucking. Oh, this so much. I don't, <laughs> oh just, my god, the I'm, rope pound that we should know. That, 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 that led nowhere. Let's just talk about the mountain then for the second day, because everything before that is cool. The but first, it, the first day, the mountain is insane. The mountain itself is insane. So the Holly, we went to we went to see the Hollywood Mountain. First, we spent all our time trying to drive there in the first place. We couldn't figure out how to fucking drive there. The kid was over here like. Swerving through Beverly Hills, fucking yelling <laughs> at people, about to get us killed and shit. Like that's pretty oh, no, usual. We, we, didn't to, yeah, we didn't go to Hollywood and eat pizza that and shit. That was so narrow. I was scared for my life. I it's, hate narrow roads, bro. That's what that's what scares me with driving. If y'all sure. know, and um, literally only fit one car and two people are trying to trying to drive down if y'all seen uh well not seen maybe play gta 5 like it's like those roads like there was like where franklin lives like, like where franklin lives yeah, yeah it's just it's just like that shit like it's like you can't see like who's who's across the corner so if you're going too fast you you're dead it's ggs for your shit so i don't know i don't know how we survived that shit we either had? oh my god that pizza was cool honestly i don't see i've had better it was pizza good. it was cool but me was too cool. but it was for cali and i you know it was definitely good. Cali, was definitely Cali good. pizza up there. Cali pizza up there. For sure, for sure. I still think Hollywood was, was a vibe. We went to the, fun the Funko Pop store and um the music store was a mad vibe. Yeah, Funko Pop store. We went there. A music record store was cool. Funko Pop store was fire as fuck. Fire. I didn't know it was even a store mm -hmm. like that that existed that had all the shits in there. It was fire.
The kid, the kid was, was def fire. definitely plugging us in. Pause. You for sure had that shit on lock. Right. I can you. But yeah, we, so we just getting to the Hollywood sign. We saw we so we drove up this one road that kind of had like the sign like on the mountain, like directly in front of us, and that shit was mad fire. But like you know, Apollo mm -hmm. wanted to, we wanted to get closer to that shit, but we didn't know how. So we drove around probably for the next like 30 minutes, just getting lost, ending it. We ended up at like some funeral. I don't know what the fuck we had. What did we park at? It was like some oh, it was funeral. Oh, like a church. It was like a church. And people were like bringing we, flowers we and it. shit. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was for sure like a funeral, like a wedding or something. They were trap us in that bitch. They were like, oh, you gotta stay now. Like, they, they, oh, they, they, they were giving us funny looks the whole time. Some, some mad heredi like hereditary type shit. We left that bitch. For sure. And then we finally, <laughs> we finally found some like parking spot that like was at the was at the foot of the mountain. Basically, it was like a trail going up the mountains. We had to start walking to get up there. And at first, we thought, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a little bit, but not gonna be that long. Probably gonna maybe like, be like thirty minute walk or some shit like that. So we started walking mm -hmm. up there. And then we, the longer we walked, the more like we were not even remotely close to this fucking shit at all. Uh, <laughs> at all. We can uh, look up at those more hills. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. We kept thinking like this spot was the spot, and then that was like the halfway point. Yeah. <laughs> like, there, there, there were signs that said 25 miles, and then like point 22 miles. I was like, what? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> when this is a, not even Lakita has even like walked up there because it's not something that everybody does walk up a fucking mountain. So we really didn't know where the fuck we were going. I, we asked some people who like we were like walking and biking and stuff for directions NPCs. to help and stuff. But like they would try to help us, but like, they know better than like they, they they know what they're talking about, but we don't know what the fuck. Like, yeah, but go that way. They're, they're, they're to go that way essentially. <laughs> yeah, go that way and take a left, and we see yeah. we see this um big ass rock face that, that looks just like um jo like George Clooney's face. You know, you, you'll see, you'll see it. Like what? Um, we're like what? <laughs> Gonna lost the most yeah, interesting we part talk about the shortcut dude yeah, yeah the most interesting the part was this was, so mm. this is one dude right Hell here like no. so it was this rope that was like attached to a bridge like probably like, this is probably like the halfway point maybe maybe like maybe like not even a halfway point probably like the, no, the quarter was, point like, not like a quarter <laughs> the quarter point of walking yeah. up this that was that's like a quarter a, th a third at best probably and the thing is like you gotta keep in mind like it's probably like a two hour walk up there right like a, an hour and a half last walk oh, up for there. sure yeah, out of, the, out of the math. We got there like 5.30. We at the top where it was like, it was like 7.30. Yeah, it was we're... like two hours. So like this is probably like Dang. maybe 30 minutes in. Yeah, so like maybe like one-fourth the way in. It was, yeah, we were like a fourth of the way, bro. And there's like this random dude. Like, so there's like a bridge that's like on top of like... But so like if you can even picture it, there's like a mountain. There's a bridge like connecting it like up top. And there's like a rope hanging down from it. Look at the pictures in. And then so Not he's... that part though. So he's trying to like this guy like he, like hey he's done this before so like he's he does, he, park, he does par parkour in that shit. <laughs> so he he climbed up the little like rock face because like because I guess a lot a lot of people have done it before so they, 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 there's like a man made road to get to the rope so like people have done it before but like you know it's not not everyone probably does that shit. So he climbs he, like he looks at us because I pause like is there, is there a shortcut up there like where are you going and the guy's like you know like. Uh, like if you keep walking down that, it's probably gonna take you another forty-five minutes. But you could probably cut all that out and just come right here and just climb up the rope, and you'd be good. And then he <laughs> then he does it, and then he's like he's, he's up there like oh, come on, come on, you know, see how easy it is. And then, so I, my <laughs> ass, I was already bro. tired. We've been walking for like thirty-five something plus minutes. I was like, bro, we, I'm not trying to walk for it. Cause he said, I don't know what he said. He said he said forty-five minutes or like a, maybe like an hour longer. I was like, like ten we, minutes. The niggas get ill. Yeah. I was like, fuck no. So I was start going over there. I think Lakito kind of followed me too. But then Mikey and Apollo was like, fuck. And Mikey was like, fuck, no, I'm not doing that shit at all. Because he didn't have the shoes for yeah. it. Like, fuck, no, he was, he was not, not trying to do that shit. shit. He was not trying to do that shit. I was just, I was just, I was like, nigga, I'm tired of walking. Because we, so we had some long way to go. So I was trying to follow him up there. But Apollo was like, nah, nigga, we just got to, you know, we just got to follow through. We, you know, we're going to see the scenery. We're going to enjoy the mountain. We're going to enjoy the wall. We just, we just got to follow through. So we didn't do it. And we'll, I guess Thank we'll get God. we'll get back to him a little bit later, but we did not see that nigga ever again. I think it's dead, y'all. I think it's not a real person. <laughs> I think it's no, an NPC. I think he's alive. I think he was trying to kill us. Yeah, there wasn't we, even a bridge. He's still, he's still yeah, that's what I said. There was not a. So when we got to the yeah, top of the mountain, yeah, yeah. we didn't see the bridge from up top. So where the fuck did he go? That mountain, that bridge doesn't even exist. The, 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 the thing I noticed too is like this. There was like so many spots you could have gone up there, like so many different viewpoints and shit. So he probably switched over another viewpoint to hike low key. Maybe. Like realistically, I said he was a killer for the jokes, but realistically, he probably went to another spot. But yeah. either way, I, I like where we ended up, anyways. Wherever he was ending up, I would have rather ended up where we ended up. <laughs> so, 
Okay, I don't know what so the really fuck matters. that nigga ended up. Me and like, yo, we went up there, we were looking like, where the fuck is that bridge at? Like, but this nigga has to be somewhere. But that nigga, I think that nigga is like, either like how Apollo said, he's trying to jump us. So he probably had like four niggas waiting up there just with just ample batons and blicky. He's trying to just he was gonna pop drop the, he, he was gonna drop the rope as soon as you like grabbed on. Absolutely, shit. absolutely. On some like real was. scar and Simba type shit. I don't know. Long live the king. Either that or he's like, or that was like actual like Satan himself trying to trick us and we just survived the I think test. it was like Pennywise or some real shit. Or Pennywise. He looked like Pennywise too a little bit too. I ain't gonna hold <laughs> stop, stop. What? Stop. He did. No, he didn't. He did. Oh, he was no, bald, no, in the, no. bald in the front and he had like the hair on the side type shit. <laughs> no. Like Beethoven. A little bit. Yeah, leave that man alone, bro. Nah, fuck that nigga. Nigga trying to kill us. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that cool on that shit. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Uh, he, he, oh, I'm crying. crying. I'm trying to tell you. Loki, Loki, Loki. We took a my, bunch of good pictures, and then just getting up. So we, you know, we got up to the, got to the above. We got to the top of the mountain, right? We, we saw Hollywood on our right side, and then we had like, there was like this little like little like picnic area, I guess, and it had like a lot of like you could see the view of the entire city. You could see like the moon on one side, the sun. It's like it's like you're in the middle of the world type Holy shit. Holy shit! It's like the middle of the world type shit. It was cold as fuck up there. Too. You said what? Yeah. There were hella rattlesnakes. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of them. I ain't never seen that in my life. But we didn't see we didn't see no animal. Up there. We didn't see no animal up no. there. Like, we were like at least until we got down. We'll talk about that later. But oh, we, 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 we were we were cooling <laughs> up there. I forgot you just said that. But we were I cooling up there. We were cooling up there. We took ample pictures. Like, we were calling our loved ones and shit. Um, just like we made it. Like it, it felt like I've never felt, felt like, like we made it. I've never felt I've that way never, before. Never ever ever felt that way. Like, like we can't like Apollo sick kept on saying like you can't even, like exp like, pictures won't be able to explain it. You can't even explain it in the words how it felt mm -mm. being up there on top mm -mm. of that mountain, bro. Like Hollywood Mountain, seeing Hollywood on the front and right side with the sun setting too, shit was phenomenal, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, like we were just like speaking our aspirations, like just like like you know, playing some know, songs, playing some songs that the master moved. Like shout out Tyler, Tyler was killing that shit. Like his every song he was playing matched the mood. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm hmm. And we like, mm -hmm. and, and, you, and you probably saw some of the pictures on IG too, from like all of us. Like we were just us sitting on like little, like the little fence post, yeah. just looking off into the distance. My vlog too. Yeah, the vlog. I might could drop the vlog, so I'm probably, probably link it too, or just send the link over for Apollo so you can put it on that shit. But like, it was just it, it goes amazing. over a lot of what we saw. Amazing, bro. Amazing. Bro. I can't even like describe the feeling. Like, there's, I, there's no explanation. There's really none. Like that mountain was phenomenal, and just, and just like just the fact that we did it as life changing. Well. We wanted to stop so much yeah. times. Like it was getting mm -hmm. dark. It was getting cold. It was so fulfilling at the end, though. But it was like just reaching, yeah. like I would never trade so it for the world. It. Would not trade it for the world. Absolutely not. Um, but the walk down that was a different story. Uh, we almost died like nine different. There was skinwalkers. <laughs> out. We, there was like at least like they ten like, skinwalkers. Like, some, guy, some guy was following us. There's some guy we, they like, started we running. Uh, we were uh, followed. We, uh, fucking uh, Apollo. Apollo chasing jess for a minute <laughs> yeah, paul like ducked oh, down and then no. he went and he went like like silent and he popped back up and just started running no, <laughs> no man oh, you chased nah. like a couple times too on the way up oh yeah yes bro but, that was, but at least at least we saw energy i thought i thought i was i thought i was fucked we, we still had energy like, i thought i, I thought y'all were all scared I thought I was fucked. <laughs> yeah, all of us are kind of like, all three of us, I don't know what happened in that mountain, bro. I'm going to hold you. Like, we think niggas, niggas were disappearing and reappearing. Some guy had a dog. I never saw that nigga ever again after that dog. Yeah, we were following him for a while. Nigga went to like mad so, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're on our way down. <laughs> and we get to this one spot we saw before where it's like a water fountain and like, like for animals and for people and shit. Yeah. And there were, sta we're there were stairs there like the whole time, right? But we never even know what they were. So we, we we it was dark as shit at this point, mind you. Like the only reason it was we could kind of see was because luckily it was a full moon. If it was no full moon, we could not be able to see shit because all our phones were basically dead. So you know we got really lucky with that. There was a guy there on the stairs, and we asked him like, "Does that way go back to the tennis course?" Because like we parked by these tennis courts, and he was like, "Oh yeah, the tennis course is in this merry-go-round." <laughs> so we went down those steps. <laughs> Let us. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> we let us astray, dog. <laughs> let us. Uh, I, I, Tennis court, like it was a 20 minute Uber ride to get back to where we were. So basically, like we, so that shit was. <laughs> it was like a left and right. So we, so the right path is like the yeah. way we, the way we went down. But low key, even if we went down the right path, I feel like we probably would like it, we, we would have got to where we wanted to we go. Lost. But like, I don't think we would have got lost. But it would have been like another. Every, hour every thing. single turn we made. It would have been. It would have been, like been, been another, been another hour thing. I don't know. That shit was GG's. That shit was GG's either way. 
Some guy was just standing there staring at us. He had like a like, like a light thing on his head, but he was just standing there like a like slender man. <laughs> oh yeah, dog. That scared the hell out of me. Bro, I, my heart was pounding, bro. Let me tell y'all, bro. I dead ass felt like I was not safe. So it was fucking insane, like. Oh my fucking god. Cause we were walking down, we were following the guy with the dog, right? We we were following this nigga for such a long time. The nigga disappeared, and we Some turned, and we took a dude. right, and this like. This nigga, with the, like Mikey said, the nigga was just standing there. Like he had, he had, like he was down there with friends too. His friends were friends. His friends, like his friends, were like away from him or something. He was just better by himself, just standing there, not even just uh -huh. doing anything. And then Apollo, <laughs> like, Apollo yeah, like, said, like, that, like, "Hell nah." It was so funny. Like they were there, at one part, they were like on the side, like the, of like the little like mountain part of us, mm -hmm. and we started like yelling at them, and they were like yelling back and shit. Oh, that, like, that no, too. Man. Yeah, that too. That too. I was like, "No, man." It's just fucking <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Fuck, dude. But we eventually, um, you know, like they actually helped us as well too. Could they help us get back to like they the did. parking lot? Cause like, um, his friends came through, and they started walking another way, and we started walking another way. And I was like, I just like decided to ask, thank God, cause, cause I, we were about to walk into the abyss. I was like, oh, are we going to the right way to the the merry-go-round? And they were like, fuck no, you about to go into like the cougar's den or some shit. What did, what did they say? <laughs> it was some crazy know, shit. Like it was like the bee like cave or something. Like something to do with bees, like the honeycomb cave oh, yeah, or some yeah, crazy yeah. shit. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was like the bee cave or like the bee cavern or some shit like that. Yeah, some crazy shit. Yeah, I know if we went in there, we were not, we were not making this video right now. It would have been GG's for all of us. GG's. I'm crying, bro. That shit is insane. Dog. So we, so we. I wonder how many people can make it down from that hill, like really. They probably, that's probably like some of the niggas walking. missing on that shit that they, they just don't talk I know. about. Cause niggas, I don't, I don't know. Like I see, it's a, it's just a normal commodity. Like, no. Oh, not at all. Uh, um. Thank God we got the fuck out. We got out that shit. We followed, like we listened to them. We got to the merry-go-round, but like Mikey said, that was not what we were supposed to go at all. It was a whole different tennis court. We came from the parking lot we were at, and then it was a fucking like hyena. <laughs> so if you can imagine it, it's like if you can, <laughs> if you can match. It. it was a coyote. It was a coyote. It was a coyote. It's like a west. It's like a like west side it. and then an east side of the mountain. So like we can't. Let's say we came from the east side. Like the the guy, the one, the one who was like, oh, go come follow me down here. He went to the west side. So we were on the opposite side of the fucking mountain so we was we were in it was a, like 20 minute uber so that probably would be like, a, like it, like, was it was literally been like an, so an hour walk like hour hour and a half walk we had tried to walk that shit and then like, like mike when we came down there we like we were going through the parking lot trying like oh is that the car is that the car and tell me why a fucking like dingo <laughs> came out a jackal came out the fucking um forest and started walking towards oh, and then darted into the woods and then, I, and then we were like, I guess that's the one. We, and I was like, I guess we were like, I guess we, think we, we have to go over there. Because that's what we had to keep walking, right? Mikey was mm. my, we were about to blow a fucking gas. He was like, we're not fucking going to go walk next to a wolf. Apollo was, like, Apollo was like, Apollo was like, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he did not care. <laughs> That shit was fucking insane, and then and because there was no kidding. there was no shortcuts. I think me and Lakia tried to go to the left. Like we were in the parking lot. Oh, yeah, it was like a fucking. Big it was like ass a bush. Big, exactly, big ass bush, and then we like pushed the bush aside. It was a fucking like ditch underneath that shit to catch dead bodies. <laughs> like, bro, yeah, I, thought, freaking, I thought I was fucking die. I don't think I ever felt so close to death dead. in my life. Oh my god, I don't know. I thought that was really it. I was like, I'm gonna die in this California fucking oh. wilderness. And keep in mind, y'all, like, all of our fucking things died. We had no our power phones. in our phones. Apollo was once... like 50, but he kept it off. Power kept on. Like, Apollo was just kept on lying and shit. I was like, oh, I guess I'm like, he was like, <laughs> he was like, oh my god. <laughs> shit was like, half. <laughs> Because Lakito Lakito has died and like and then mine my, my I can't I was trying to conserve mine mine was mine like the hill. twenty something percent Mikey's been died that shit was been dead my dad my dad my dad would watch the sunset <laughs> that oh was my it for me God. right when we started going down exactly like it died then came back to life at like one percent and then oh died yeah again. it died again. <laughs> And then like Kilo was like, like, what the? Because this shit, because his parents like he, he couldn't call his parents like this. I think his mom was like, where the fuck are you at? That nigga was the like, AFK on the mountain too. <laughs> Ooh, GGs for that nigga. I don't know. Aye, aye, aye. But we did eventually get back what? to the car. I don't know how the fuck we got back to that car. I'm gonna hold you. We got to a point where we, we all Ubered. we all just mad as fuck at each other. We all just sitting in the parking like, man, we won't. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we were we were saying a word for like a good minute, bro. We were all just quiet. <laughs> I never I, been I, so. I, I don't I, know. I, Bitch, Loki, I was mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was so fucking mad, Loki. I was, I was just quiet. I was, I was contemplating like, damn, like I'm really gonna die in another I state. I was thinking we were gonna die. We're fucking like dark ass fucking street. Mikey, Mikey was out of it. Mikey, the kid was just mad, loopy. Paul was over here like happy as shit that we we're in this situation. Like, oh, yeah. he just didn't give a shit. I was like, oh, nigga, no.
But we, so we got, we got, the, we got the Uber, Uber up. Make a lot of money doing yeah. this. He just like stared at him. Apollo, Apollo was, Apollo was, was so funny. Apollo, was, Apollo didn't put his fucking seat. Cause he, he, he's saying, you know, they don't wear, they don't wear seat belts in Georgia. He don't wear seat belts in Georgia, supposedly. So <laughs> every, every every Uber we got in, he never wore a seat belt. He always got told to put a seat belt on, like halfway through the ride. It could be like beep beep, like sir. Yeah, they, 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 they things start dinging. And he, he just looked at Apollo. He's just like kind of slow turn, like mm. <laughs> all NPC like. Cause like on, cause like later on, like when like when when, when, when me and me and Paul were leaving in the morning to get to go to the airport, like he did the same shit, and like that that, that Uber driver was like a lot more talkative. They were talking back and forth, and I was kind of just like just chilling in the back. But then they got like he didn't know where his seatbelt for like half the fucking ride again. And they was like, "Sir, I need you to you know the safe safety." And he's like, and then Paul says, says the same dumb talking with some. No, we, I'm from Georgia. Sorry, sorry. Like I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> I fucking hate that saying. That's just fucking insane. But yeah, you know, we got back I'm to the car crying, safely, um, and then that's the time we had Wiener Schnitzel, still right? Does it from you, bro? Yeah, we got Wiener Schnitzel on the way back. I, I didn't know I didn't know that she even existed. But I guess it's something that like, other places have. Wait, do you have it? Or is this only Apollo had Wiener Schnitzel? I don't have it at all. I mean, I know the Kilo has. Obviously, he lives over there. But I don't think, have you ever tried Wiener Schnitzel before? Oh, you didn't eat any of the Wiener Schnitzel, did you? No, I didn't. What the? I don't really like it. Oh, really? What? <laughs> what? I don't like. I don't like like. <laughs> Hot dogs. You're I insane. Feel, I feel that. I'll give you a hot dog you like. What does that mean? <laughs> you're insane. No, nah, you're insane. You ain't tried mine yet. No, you're insane. You're insane. Thanks oh, help. Oh, help. <laughs> oh. Who help you? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't wait to I can't wait to send the help same me. clip to the fucking yeah. FBI. Please. Don't ask me for nah, help, nigga. Give me the fuck it. Don't have, I'm not, I'm not helping none of your crazy ass weird ass niggas. The fuck no, I'm cool. You ain't gotta you gotta hop on me. You're gonna be like, yeah, the footage you're gonna be like right here, sir. Nah, like, <laughs> no. I, I, I got to a little bit. I got to a little no. bit. No. You're fucking insane. Ooh. That's just jokes. You know that's jokes. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is nigga doing? <laughs> What was that sound? But yeah, we got the Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, that, was, that, that service was fired. The, the, the Schnitzel was fired. Bro, let me tell y'all, I never downed a Glizzy so fast in my life. Pause. No. Okay, okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit was fucking good. I mean, it's probably because we just died that on them, almost so probably died on the fucking mountain. So we oh, just yeah, enjoy. for sure, for sure, for sure. So we were just enjoying any food we it felt possibly like, could it felt, have. It felt like... Any, like, it felt like I was a sustenance, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that shit was, I don't know. Um, I was like, ah! Very eventful modern day. Modern technology! And we ended up, uh, I think, watching South Park for a good long while. South that Park shit was so it. fucking wild. Took a nice hot shower, I felt so good. Yeah, we were Oh we my god, there was, so, there was so much dirt coming off my fucking arms and legs in that fucking shower. We fucking, <laughs> we had to slide down the mountain. We had to slide down this shit, yeah. <laughs> like, what? Nah, that was a crazy. We had to fire slide down like a, like a like a like a like a like a like a three foot little drop off. Definitely a fucking. They, ran, they they ran down it, but my fucking shoes, I would have slipped, bro. I mean, I, I don't know. We would just I don't know. I had so much sand in my fucking shoes. I don't know, man. Um, but that was the second day for sure. <laughs> oh god. Then third day, oh, um, third day was Universal. And, that day was mad packed. That was the, a mad calm day. And the beach, I'm pretty sure. Those like the two big things. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I think we went to Universal first. Um, Universal yeah. was mad wavy. Um, it was just mad, mad wavy. Definitely expensive. It was, you know, I thought it, was, it was, was worth it for the one time. Yeah, I thought it was a good one time thing. I know the kid wants to go back though. I think they're, aren't they having I some? Point. Last of Us. Oh, Last of Us. Of us. Or not. Yeah, but they had Harry I'm, Potter. Like you know, So that. basically, if y'all know what Universal is, bro, it has like you know, Harry Potter, Despicable Me, uh, what Transformers, Jurassic Park. Uh, um, Mario, Nintendo. Oh, yeah, I don't know I forgot Mario that. Nintendo, Nintendo. That's the that's biggest thing. Yeah, Nintendo Land. Me. That shit was fucking unreal. Um, what else? I think that's... Is that it? I think that's all, like, the exhibits and rides and shit. Oh, and they had, like, Simpsons, too. Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was really it was cool to walk around, oh, like, yeah. how we did. Yeah. Oh, and Fast and Furious, just, just enjoying the atmosphere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, There's some Scooby-Doo shit, too. Yeah, they had a lot of <clears> shit there. Uh, we ate there too at like the like the, like, mad good. the Simpsons shit. That shit was cool. Uh, Caesar salad and a milkshake. Um, but yeah, the, the highlight like the food. I guess food aspect had to be the butterbeer shit. The butterbeer was was really good. Though, I will say that. 
Oh my fucking god. Bro, stop. Bro, I don't know what's up with Mikey. Mikey just like, I think because Mikey is like, he just like attaches the memory to the stuff. So like the butterbeer and the wiener schnitzel. No, I'm telling you. I, I was, bro, no. I'm telling you. That shit was like, it like healed me. Because remember how to take a shit so my stomach was bubbling? It was like a fucking potion. It like healed me. I swear to God, it did. Nah, it was like a fucking. It was, it was like, it was like, it was like. That's what I'm I saying, like you know, Leaky will speak on it, bro. So what? So I had a dookie so bad. <laughs> I drank that. Thing. No, it, it took it took mine away. You call oh, this shit? You call like, this shit a fucking seconds. tonic? No. Oh. It was like a fucking seconds. elixir. And it's fucking like ten dollars a that's cup. I don't know what the fuck they were I putting. I got another. I, and I and I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I only, oh, drank, come fuck, I only bro. finished the first one I had because it was ten dollars. I was like, damn, I have to finish. No, you had to. Down it. But yeah, it's like if you're a big uh, Harry Potter was... fan, it was like the butter beer from the the you know from the series type shit. Um, if you're a big if you're a Harry Potter fan, you should definitely go there because that's like the biggest thing for you. I feel like it's, that's like the pinnacle of the Harry Potter fandom. Like they had it the, was yeah, for sure. The, I, I think it's like from Nintendo. Nintendo Hogwarts was like the biggest thing. They had all the stories there. You could walk into any store. They were selling the robes. They were selling like trinkets. They were selling wands, like actual wands with the cases the on wands. them. Shit, like, so. like, like 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 Quidditch shit. Yeah, cool. like the broom's like there's real magic there. People were flying and shit. Like it's crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Like it's bonkers. The VR shit or not, the VR shit they'll um the deck what's the, called? the, the dumb, um the, with the, the ride, ride and shit with the double doors. Like, bro, we yeah, were yeah, yeah, we were flying with Harry and I them. thought I But it was cool. That was cool. It was definitely fire, definitely fire. Definitely oh, that fire. thing was scary as hell. It was though. I was terrified. That spiders was. and shit. We were going through all the books and oh that my motherfucker. God, I, was scared the hell out of I me. lost my voice, bro. I yeah. My voice, but I got home and I couldn't talk. I didn't even notice. Just fucking insane. <laughs> but definitely, that's that. That's probably my favorite. Actually, no, Nintendo was fire. No, Nintendo so, yeah. was cool. I, I, the, like ride, ride wise, I like Harry Potter. But like the VR shit, I think it was like cooler. If that makes sense. Yeah, I feel that. But yeah, the, I think we. That just, shit was wild. We got videos oh of that god. too. But the, the Nintendo <laughs> so, Land. Oh my god. Nintendo Land was fucking crazy. That shit was so funny with the with the with the VR Mario Kart race. Hell Cause, like, yeah. The, the VR works like you you press a little button and you gotta like throw shit at like the at, like the enemy type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, shells Mario Kart. or some shit. Yeah. So there, there there were like little breaks and like pause where you you just kind of be sitting there. This man Apollo was just throwing all his <laughs> shells like a wall. <laughs> I was crying, but I was like smacking the shit out of just I'm laughing so. <laughs> Probably get off. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, bro. Yo, no idea how funny that shit was, man. You was like, bro, why? I was, crying. I was doing the same thing too, and I was like, oh, I look dumb. I guess I stopped doing it. But <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, <laughs> Apollo, Apollo was like so locked in, he wasn't even hearing nobody. Know, was... He was just <laughs> shooting like, and shit. Stop! He just kept throwing them. <laughs> Fuck that shit was funny. But yeah, the, the we, like, that was like the main ride there. It was like a fucking that was another two hour wait. That's long as the mountain Yo, shit. Oh, the longest. But the, the the good thing is, like, I, I like how they f the entire wait for the line. They like give you shit to look at and like talk about and shit. Like that little bomb bomb factory yeah. and like yeah. blueprints for the mark for like the carts and like the yeah. bananas and shit. It was definitely like, that. Like was pretty cool. And the view. Took it, it, made, it made the time pass pretty quick. Yeah, the view, the view was really cool at the time. You're like walking Bowser's castle and shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. If it wasn't for that, that shit would have been mad boring. That's what I'm saying. I wish I had, I wish they, like but, they did, they did um, go with it. I wish I had like some of this. I wish I had like benches in that motherfucker. That should have been kind of cool. They had some benches. Yeah, I couldn't see. We were some like railings and shit. It was kind of yeah. good. But um, other than that, shit, shit was fire. Um, just the whole, just, just being there, honestly, just being in Nintendo Land. I, I didn't know, I didn't know that shit was even there. So just seeing that shit, I was like, what? This I is, forgot. This like, is I, fire. I, knew, I knew deep down, but I completely forgot. I knew it existed, but I forgot it was like at in Cali like that. Just I thought it'd been like fire. Orlando or whatever. Just fucking fire, bro. So we and we snuck in there too. I don't know what like Lakito, Lakito and like Apollo oh, yeah. just like did some crazy shit, guys. And I don't know what the fuck they did. They don't know. We 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 needed a pass to get into the you know, Nintendo Land, but we ended up sort of walking. Like there's a big ass crowd walking. We just walked with the crowd. <laughs> just walked in. Lakito, what did you do? Yeah, did you, did they you were, they were like, like, it was like a wait time or whatever. They were like checking. They were they were asking they were asking people for the thing or whatever. And then we were just like, all right, let's go, let's go. While they're talking to them, we just walked in. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> that shit was so funny, man. But that shit, I'm glad they did that shit, though, because we were not going to get the, get in there any other way. Because if y'all don't know, like, mm -hmm. it's long ass, like, there's long ass lines for that shit. Like, it's like to, wait time, so, like, they, 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 they like, close it off. But, like, we, we, we got to that point, and it was like, I don't know. We like, I guess we're not going to get in, but, like, I don't like this. They pulled something off, and that shit was phenomenal. Clutched up. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But I think after that, we kind of saw the rest of the park. We kind of just, you know, walked around or whatever. Walked around, chill, got yeah. another butter beer. And then we dipped. Should've, should've got like four more, to be honest. 
Do we, do we go somewhere to eat after that, or do we go? We went straight, we went straight to the beach, I think, because it was like the sun was kind of going down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went to the beach. This we wanted to get a sunset if we could. The beach in Lakito spot, and that shit was like, that was that was like it was just it was like it, it was like the equal to the mountain basically. That shit was f fucking. F yeah, crazy. it really was. Crazy being on that fucking beach. It was and it was like it was just us down there because it was like kind of getting kind of dark. So everyone was kind of like either like if they were if they were there, they probably were to themselves or like they were probably or there was no one there basically. We had the whole beach to ourselves basically. Um, that shit was phenomenal, bro. Like the sun, we saw the sunset again. The moon came out, shining. It was the like, moon, ro moon, the moon rose over the ocean. Oh, that was a strawberry moon, by the way. Like that's what they called it. Uh, it was like a cool, like like it, 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 at the time worked out so like like it was like fate, bro. Like it was like destiny. It felt like. It was phenomenal. Like how how we how we just get there when it's like a when it's like a new moon, like a full moon or whatever. I have no idea. They didn't didn't plan it at all. It just worked out like that. That's so that's so fire. We were just we were just taking pictures, like just again like saying aspirations, just like you know, speaking stuff into existence. Play some music. I did I think I did like a live like uh, mental health Sunday there too. Oh she was yeah. Fire. Oh my god, I called my mom. Yeah, we were just awesome. calling loved ones again. Just, I don't know bro, like the beach and the on the mountain, like they're two different completely different like landforms, like on the beach and the mountain, but like both of us had the same effect. And all of us were just there to just come for sure. Taking it all in and experiencing it, and just like just living in the moment for that one, like on just all phones away, everything away, just absolutely. Be being with being with y'all really made me realize like my passion for photography too. Hell yeah! Mike, so I started taking pictures of them like as they were walking around and shit. I could be killing them bitches. Though. Like I, that's why I told him to like make. I just a, see a, shit. I'm like I have to make an account when he got back because he was really killing them pictures and stuff. Honestly, like, his eye is really he has a really good eye for that type of stuff. He's very like, very creative. Like I don't know, we just. Like being there was just phenomenal, bro. It was helped in every like. It was so good for way. everything, everything. Every yep. single way. I mean, even like for like Kido, like Kido lives there, obviously, but he hasn't really had like had people to go like maybe go do these things with and stuff. So like it was it was kind of like a first time for him for a lot of stuff too. So it was just the, it was like you know like really his first time like really experiencing that shit. I guess I don't know, he could probably say it better than me, yeah. honestly. Kind of yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. Cause like. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't like the ocean at all. Like, I don't like the ocean. I don't like water. You know, I can't swim, so I'm like, I mean, I don't mess with water at all. But I, I don't know, being there, I like, I don't know. It was just that time of day too, where it's like no one there. Mm -hmm. So like, whenever I go running down there, it's like, it's cool, but I never think about like my environment because I'm like focused on yeah. running. But like, for sure, being there during that time doing like the only thing i was focusing on was us and like the water <laughs> like, I couldn't so help, yeah i couldn't i, I had to like, I, couldn't, I had to i had to put my feet in i had to walk around in the sand mm -hmm. had to and, uh, i've never i've never been to the pacific like, ocean that was, a, that was a big thing mm. it was so cool it was cold as hell but it, it was, was cold like, as it fuck so good it, it was weird so good. yeah yeah absolutely it felt like cleansing. I don't know how to... Cleansing, yeah, that's the best way to say it. That's a great way to say it. I'm a beach ass person, so I wanted to get in as much as possible. So that. So I had to put my feet in a little bit. I love beaches. And we, yeah, that's how it we, was very good. That's how we like really ended the um. That's how we really ended the weekend. That was too. a great like finale. Yeah. Yeah, so we ended the weekend for real. And then I think after that, um, we went back to the hotel. We got like, yeah, we got Dave's hot chicken, like Mikey said earlier. And we got um, the taco. Like, we got this taco spot that uh, like keto, like you know, that's just, like his spot he goes to. Tacos were phenomenal. Um, we we did like the like the super hot spicy like Dave's hot chicken, like the, the reaper the reaper shit basically. If they wanted to. I wanted to get regular <laughs> chicken. They're like, no, we can't. We can't. We have to do it. I thought they were gonna get both. I thought they were gonna get both or whatever. Fuck no. We these niggas. These niggas. We can't. I couldn't even enjoy that shit. That's just all the way fucking California. It was ass. Oh my god. I really wanted to enjoy the food, but nope. They wanted to do that shit. So and the video. There's a video too. Well, Mikey posted it. I probably put in the put in the link below too, but. Um, we all tried the Carolina Reaper shit from Dave's Hot Chicken. Shit was fucking crazy shit. Mikey, <laughs> Mikey and Keto basically almost died. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't actually did I, die I, honestly. I saw ice cream from the hotel like shop. Like he no, they were for going it. crazy. I, for it, totally. you, I mean, y'all can see in the video like on the, when the, with the link when shit's <laughs> linked, but like Lakita was over here like yodeling. <laughs> Mikey he was moaning and shit. <laughs> yeah, I was in the bathroom just. Moaning. I started drooling. <laughs> I didn't know. I... <laughs> Whoa. I had to walk in the bathroom and just like I, I was I had my tongue under the sink for like five minutes, like washing I rinse that shit off, I couldn't. 
And then I woke up the next day. I got so mad because the next day I woke up and like, mind you, I had a water, like a big ass water bottle, right? So I was using that to like, to like, try to cool it off. I woke up, I had the same water bottle. I drank out of it and I guess there was like residue on it. <laughs> and it made my tongue hot oh again. <laughs> it wasn't like as bad, but I could feel like the heat and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was low key mad. I'm just glad like, we survived the shit. The, the, the tacos though were phenomenal. The tacos were, you know, the tacos were. The tacos were really fine. good. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got like Hispanic apple soda. They got like horchata and shit. Oh yeah, phenomenal. Birria tacos. We're going crazy in that bitch. I'm glad, we, I'm glad we had that shit before. Before we ate them. Yeah, before I would not have been hungry. I would not have had appetite for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how we really ended the night. There's more. I think we watched more South Park. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, I, I, you know. Loki, I, I, this, I, I, I like, I'm weird, but little shit. I like the shower in the hotel. Well, what about it? was cool. I, it was nice. It just felt good. <laughs> I feel that for sure. <laughs> Bro. It was, it was cool. Um, yeah, I think that's, and then, yeah, we left, the, we left the next morning, me and Apollo. Mikey left a little bit after. I was so fucking bored. You say you just sent us a picture of him like watching SpongeBob by himself, just doing nothing or something. <laughs> <laughs> and there was SpongeBob on. Yeah, they, 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 like a, oh, oh my god, that once they left, that I let that I let that Reaper Reaper sandwich bite. You know, I had to go sit in the toilet for a little while. Like a fucking shot all over that damn place. You're going crazy. That shit was ass. No pun intended. But I'm just you know, actually ass. Phenomenal weekend. We survived. We hit everything we wanted to Somehow. do. That's really crazy how we did everything we wanted to do. It was life changing for sure. Absolutely. Um, and now, like, you know, next big thing for us is DreamCon coming up really soon. Like, literally in like two and a half weeks. Three weeks. Three. Mm -hmm. Like, just like three. And then, you know, after that, they're moving out here. So, like, we still got a lot of big things planned, just like, for, just like in life, like in real life type of shit. Um, and we just want just wanted to share that shit with y'all. Um, I think like the at least my thing. I just want to, like, I'm of course like I know some of y'all might be young. Some of y'all might not even have like the money to do so yet. But like I have to like not it doesn't have to be just to California, but just, just travel, just travel Go as somewhere. much as y'all can. You know, just travel as much as y'all can. Just even start small, going to a different city in your size, your state, drive over there with some friends or whatever, and then kind of build on top of that to save your money as, you know, as much as you can just let us go and the thing is if you travel with people like we're, we're travel all like we're all sharing like bedrooms uh, not bedroom, but hotel rooms and shit like that like it's easy it's easy you know it's easier to kind of like we can all split the costs and stuff like that yeah and it, it makes it like, easier so. too because traveling by yourself at, at the very start is kind of hard yeah i ain't gonna lie being with, with people who like especially people who like haven't really traveled as much as you have either like you're kind of all learning how to do it together yeah and it kind of builds a nice bond mm -hmm. yeah when I have realized like way more comfortable just having friends just makes everything a lot more bearable at the end of the day a lot more bearable so I know just you know try to travel as much as you can try to get a good group of people together just go explore the world y'all honestly like that's really, that's really the meaning of all this stuff and that's why mm -hmm. you know, that's why we kind of been gone for a little bit but we definitely back mm -hmm. now we came back the thing too is oh, go ahead no we came back yeah, like, I think a month away a month a month ago from now um, yeah, I, I know over, Mikey, over that last day. And you went out. You then you went somewhere too, right? After like after you. Just I, went, I went, oh yeah, like, like week and a half after I went. To, I was got from South Carolina like a, like a week yeah. ago, like two weeks ago. Maui V. I go there every year, so it was nothing special, but it's mad nice vibe. Absolutely. But what I was gonna say is like, just being stuck in the same place for so long, like you really get stuck mentally, bro. Like you really do. Yeah. You, can, you might not notice. You might not notice because like it might not. It, it's kind of like you're just at a standstill. But like once you go somewhere else, you realize how much there really is out there and like how much the world has to offer. It. You start realizing like your own potential, to be honest. And that's like the biggest thing. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, and we talked about that on the last here and now too. Like the one that just dropped like probably yesterday or something, as as you know the day we're recording this. And we talked about that towards the end, I think. And it's like. Y'all, you just gotta travel, bro. Like, you can't, like, even, like, finding your soulmate, like, certain things like that. Like, you can't think that everything's gonna kind of fall, for your, like, fall, like, at least for your life and stuff like that. Everything's gonna, gonna happen, in, like, in your hometown, in, like, your home state, in your home city. Go explore, bro. There's yeah. so much out there. Like, there's so many people like, in this what, earth. seven billion people? Exactly. But you're, like, oh. your soulmate could be in fucking Italy, France, like, a different state completely, South America, From Kazakhstan. somewhere. 
Like you don't Saudi know. Saudi Arabia. Your career could be anywhere. You could, you, you know, you, like, you don't even know anything until you go and really go and try it out and stuff like that. Like that's why people, a lot of people are just sad and depressed and stuff like that. Cause they stay inside their hometown, marry inside their mm -hmm. hometown, have their kids inside their hometown. Be like, damn, I haven't really done that nothing. That vanilla my life. ass life. And some of some of y'all in the movie, maybe that's what you want to do, and I, that's good for you, obviously. But like, if you feel like if you're feeling like, damn, like I feel like I'm in a rut, like just life wise, and I feel like I'm, nothing's really going my way. Look for a new change of scenery and see if that helps. Honestly, if you if you're doing cool, then you know keep don't break with don't break with not fixing type shit. But you know I don't I don't see why you know just of course like I know like money and stuff like that is a, is a, is a problem and like being too young obviously. But yeah, I think you have to be like damn near. I think some some hotels are 18, some some are 21 and stuff. So that does play a part as well. Multi 21, yeah. But like once you get to a certain age and you start. You know, traveling by yourself and stuff like that, bro. It's phenomenal, y'all. It's phenomenal. I recommend everybody at least do it at least once. Or just try it out. Flying on the plane by yourself. Going somewhere completely That alone is just wild. You're really, you're really on a plane like, I'm really doing this shit. It's insane. Such a good pregame for what you're about to do. It's insane. Such insane. Um, but yeah, just, that was our Cali trip. It was phenomenal. We, we'll probably come back and do another one, too, when we go um, to DreamCon. Kind of round up that trip as well. Sure. And then like, and then after that, it's like literally two two ish weeks, and they're gonna be like down here in Texas with me. So like, just expect a lot more, just like, I like IRL pods, like maybe just like you're just doing dumb. That's gonna be anything. so much better. Like just cooking videos oh, yeah. or just like vlogs or just us just doing whatever. Maybe like just maybe doing like at home game shows or stuff like that. Doing like. I'll just do wild shit like how I am people doing, just like dumbass shit. Yeah, just just doing stuff. It's just, you know. It's like a war going on right now. That, I don't, I'm not trying to do that. I don't know what AMP doing with that. No, 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 no. They blown up that fucking I'm just saying, house. like, things of that nature. They got, like, all paintball, like, yeah. fucking, what's it called? I feel that. Like, um, like paintball items and shit. I feel that, I feel that. Weaponry. <laughs> Yeah, like that's what that's my recommendation for y'all. Hope y'all y'all can you know go out there and kind of do something similar with your friends as well. I don't know if y'all have anything else to add or y'all want kind of want to touch on a little bit. Uh, I say I, I just want to like thing like thing of advice. Try to find like consistency consistency with like anything you do. Honestly, it doesn't gotta be travel. It, it could be just waking up at the same time every day, making sure you get, you get the same routine going every day. Like you don't gotta start big and like oh, start traveling, blah blah blah. Like to start something little. As long as you're like working towards a goal, like small steps are still moving forward. You know what I mean? Like just as long as you got some type of motion, bro. That's all that really matters. Absolutely. Just trying to get consistent. That's the biggest thing. I'm trying to practice what I preach to y'all too. Like I say, be consistent. I'm trying to work on that for myself. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then for you, for you, Lakito. Not really. Just like I love really you the same all. thing. Like, love you too, King. We all love y'all. Love you. Yeah. We love you guys. Uh, yeah, just pretty much the same thing, honestly. Just like, like everyone's going, everyone's gonna go through it, and like, luckily everyone's going through it. Luckily, it's not a situation that you're just going through because, like, mm -hmm. and like, absolutely, you wouldn't have help from all like all of us, and you know, like, just if you need help, like, find it. I you know? like, get it. You'll find it anywhere. Like, you. DM any of us and like we'll help you out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just don't, don't, like, don't suffer in silence. That's, yeah. That's pretty much all I got. Like this sounds harsh, but like you can't wait to be saved. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. You can't wait for some like. Yeah, you can't wait for somebody to come to, come to save come you. To you all the time. Yeah, you know, if you're really like, going through it, don't be help. afraid to ask for help. Absolutely. Cause mm -hmm. not everybody can see the signs and like understand like what you're really going through unless you really are communicative and expressing how you feel the best you can at least. So might sound harsh, but nah, I it's, promise it's a tough love. Nah, that's true though. It's absolutely, absolutely. Um, but yeah, yo, that was our trip. Trip was amazing. Definitely life changing. Um, and probably honestly, y'all like we will talk about games and stuff like that. But I think I want to. I know, man. We, we kind of Expand. talked about it as well, but we just want to kind of move away from a gaming, like oriented podcast. Like, if something big happens, gaming related, we will like talk about it and stuff like that. But I won't like, I guess, expect us to come on here and just be talking about just just everything games and like just be a strictly gaming podcast. I guess at the end of the day, there's only so much we can do with that. <laughs> yeah, 
we're just, just gonna be us like um just you know just chilling chatting just like this and stuff like that um just talking about what's going on with our lives and stuff like that definitely keep the highs and lows and stuff like that obviously um and we will you know and like we were, we're planning to do more stuff than just podcast as well too not necessarily just doing the same stuff we're planning to you know you'll, you'll say i want i didn't want to spoil nothing like that but like i think like the gaming aspect will come from more of from like what we have planned but like doing that kind of stuff like that and inc- incorporate gaming into that maybe like the more yeah. of like the podcast type videos would just be more of us talking about our like just what's going on just like our lives things like that and if we can integrate gaming we definitely will obviously because you know we all we play games damn near every single day over here and we stream obviously stuff like that too um but yeah y'all um we'll see you soon it won't be as long as at this time is obviously we won't leave y'all gone for a month expect the i mean we're trying to mm-hmm. consistently across the the entire channel obviously that's what we've been you know been recording and dropping videos like damn near every other day and stuff like that because this is our dream this is our passion so we gotta act like it uh-huh. yeah but yeah expect the video can't take nothing for granted expect the video at least once a week from us um yeah y'all got anything else to add we out of here love y'all kings and queens we need we need a, we need a monarch title for like days and thems too because king and queen is for like you know i think this is like royal, kings and I, hers. I think he was calling like royalty or some shit like that's like yeah wow. kings and queens and royalty yes sir sounds like that that's oh, fire love y'all kings and queens and royalty yeah. love y'all royalty fuck all that all right go say the kings and queens <laughs> peace y'all peace y'all <laughs>